The Wallabies have been humbled by England, going down by 17 points at Twickenham. In other games, New Zealand thrashed Scotland, while South Africa staged a late comeback to beat Wales by four points. Australia missed 21 tackles to be handed its worst loss at the hands of the old enemy since 1976. Jennifer Browning reports. The Wallabies were hoping to keep their perfect spring tour intact, but didn't get off to the best start at Twickenham. Try. James O'Connor failed to replicate his Hong Kong heroics, missing his first three attempts at goal. Australia's goal-kicking woes continue. Those woes extended to the field as Matt Gitto was sent to the sin bin. Australia down a man and in big trouble at Twickenham. And the old enemy capitalised. Ashton, they won't catch him. What a try, what a counter. English fly half Toby Flood had big shoes to fill in the absence of Johnny Wilkinson, but showed little sign of nerves in front of 80,000 fans. Flood still hasn't missed one. Curtly Beale inspired Australia's comeback with a chip and chase. Those in gold in the crowd finally have jumped something to cheer about. He scored a double, but a lack of discipline once again let the Wallabies down. Flood kicked two more penalty goals to finish with a personal haul of 25 points for the match. And Flood kicks nine from nine. I think there was just a very good performance from a, from a pretty sharp English side. We bled a few points there. We, we didn't stop bleeding points and we either with, with penalty goals or or with the turnover tries, as I mentioned, and, and that was costly. It's the most points Australia has ever conceded to England. The Wallabies learning the hard way that they've got plenty of work to do ahead of next year's World Cup. Jennifer Browning, ABC News.